Next, we have Elias, and he is an entrepreneur. And tonight, he's going to summarize his 25 years of um, important lessons in this entrepreneurship. Hi, everybody. So I'm Elias, and I'm the boss of Inspire. And uh, we have a lot of entrepreneurs here today, and that's not really weird because entrepreneurs are very passionate about what they do, and they like to share things about it. But you know, you don't need to start a business to be an entrepreneur. You know, for me, an entrepreneur is just somebody who takes initiative and they see problems and they start thinking that, hmm, there got to be a better way to do this. I have an itch and I really need to find a solution to this. So, personally, I have had this itch for a very long time. <laughs> okay? So, it started very early. I was 15 years old when I got this idea that I want to have fresh bread in the morning, but I don't want to go out and buy it. So what if there was a service that I could subscribe to bread, okay? So I started that business, but I had a problem. No one wanted to work for me. And I tried to find a solution to the problem, and I came to the conclusion that it has to do with how I presented myself. People just did not take me serious when I was 15 when I came with that hair. Somehow it's easier now when I don't have any. <laughs> okay? So later on when I was 18, Sweden for the first time allowed commercial radio stations and I wanted one. So I tried to raise the millions of dollars it would take to buy myself a radio station and a frequency. But I couldn't raise the money. But I was successful in one thing. I could get a lot of media to write about me. And I realized that as long as I am willing to make a fool out of myself and carry around a stupid radio to illustrate the story, I can get a lot of media to write about me. And that has been valuable to me later. In university, I started two businesses. One was a company that sold t-shirts online. And the other business was a um, website with erotic stories for women. Um, both of those businesses came to an early grave when my business partner and myself had a big fight. So the lesson was that uh, before you start something you really need to have a uh, good foundation and uh, communication with your partner. Then I graduated from university and I joined this company called Tricor. Uh, it hires prisoners in the prisons to manufacture things and uh, then we find them a job afterwards. And from that I had two lessons. The first one is, don't wear blue if you're visiting a prison because they might shoot you if you're opening the wrong door. And the other one is that business can do a lot of good, okay? So uh, it's not just for evil and profit. Um, then I came to Taiwan 12 years ago and the first business I wanted to do was to open up a coin laundry store because there was only three of them in the whole of Taipei. So how many people do you know who is a member of the coin laundry association? I learned everything there was to know about the business. Um, but in the end, we actually didn't do it. We didn't have the guts to borrow the three million dollars it would take to start up the store. We all know how many of them there are today, and I really regret that. So don't be a chicken. Um, so the business that we did start was because one of my friends said there is no website for gay and lesbians in Taiwan. Um, I am not a gay or a lesbian, but I know how to make websites. I spent thousands of hours to build this website. And when we were finished with it, we asked a professional web designer about the website and he said, nothing special, it would take me two weeks. And I wanted to cry. So the lesson is, hiring experts and outsourcing to them is really, really a good thing, even if it costs a little bit more money. So then in 2002, we started Inspire. We were going to answer phone calls for other companies and we still do that, but it wasn't as big of a success as we thought it would be. Instead, our customers told us, well, why don't you make phone calls on our behalf instead? Listen to your customers, because they told us what they wanted, we started doing it, and we've been successful ever since. So, you know, for 25 years I have been an entrepreneur, I'm still an entrepreneur, um, I've been scratching my itch, and no matter what you are thinking about doing, if you want to be your own boss or whatever, you know, find your itch and scratch it. Because the funny part is that what maybe employees don't think about is the fact that their boss, and these are my lovely employees, um, that as a boss, I want to hire 
entrepreneurs. I want to hire people that are passionate about what they do and take the time to find out what their itch is because that's the only way that they are going to be really good at the job. So do that please, find something to scratch. Thank you.